Good day, YouTubers, and welcome to the vlog. For it is Saturday, October 10th, and we're supposed to be at the cottage. We're heading up there probably in about an hour and a half. I just wanted to show you uh, <laughs> my it, some of the stuff is gone. I, used, I, ha I had the, uh, um, what's it called? The iMac there with four drives, all transferring data. Uh, there's an old, my Lacey 6, that's done. I'll never be using that again. I'm probably gonna chuck it. Two more drives I still have to look at. Those are 500 gig drives. Uh, that's Carl's stuff. That's all Carl's stuff. That's Carl's and then that's mine. And we're just trying to back everything up and make sure everything's where it's supposed to be. Lots of organization. Um, I learned a lot from this past week about organizing and keeping everything uh, same. There's a, that was that's about a quarter of the wires that were on the floor earlier that had like my bin was just emptied and across this whole floor trying to find the right cables for the right job. I just don't have room to have like like a cable room and have everything hanging. That would be kind of cool though. Uh, so I'm just waiting. And it's like it's a 10:35. Uh, we're 517 gig left or sorry 517 gig of 589 to go it says it's only gonna be another 28 minutes so I'll talk to you for 28 minutes more blah blah <laughs> stuck to my beard uh, somebody sent me a really cool email the other day uh, talking about beard bomb which is kind of like uh, the oil but it's like solid then you put it in the palm of your hand and you rub it and it turns into a liquid and then you put it into your beard so I'm gonna give that a shot because he says it helps with uh, sh make your beard shinier and also gets um, any of the strays in line uh, that way you don't have to like cut them which is what I do any of the ones that go wee -oo, off to the side you're but if you had the beer bomb I don't know how long I want to get it to go how long have one of those big ones that stick away out here like the Egyptians and tie it with a big what are they called? They're little scrunchies. <laughs> anyway, so I just wanted to let you know what I'm doing right now. Uh, like I said, the rest of the vlog should be at the cottage. I'll try and find time to do stuff at the cottage. When I'm at the cottage, sometimes I just want to sit and relax and do nothing. Just have a couple beers, play Monster Jenga. Well, I'm on my way down to Bradford. I just wanted to show you that they're taking the boats out at the marina, which is very cool. They got a big crane. And they just take out everybody's boat on one day. So everybody pitches in a certain cost, I guess. And uh, they all share the cost of the crane. So they all take them out on the same day to save money. Cause you don't wanna <laughs> rent a crane for the day to take your boat out all by yourself. That would be insane. It'd be silly. It'd be dumb. Duh! <laughs> Hello, YouTubers. I am up in Muskoka at the cottage. Been up here for a few hours now, finally. Relaxing. Having a drink or two. Having a beer or two. Thanks, Molsons. And uh, earlier on today, like an hour and a half, two hours ago, we noticed that there was a bird. <gasps> Is he gone? Nope, there he's still there. There's a bird in the tree. First glance, we thought it was a hawk. Hawks are pretty, um, sorry, I've been drinking. Uh, hawks are all over the place, let's just say. It's the word I can only think of at the moment. And then because it wasn't moving, Hawks usually, you know, land, look around, and they take off and go and kill something. But to owls, during the daytime, they sit and don't move. So this thing has been sitting there and not moving for many hours. And so when we first saw it, we said, instantly, owl. And then uh, Carol went down, and as she was moving around down lower in the area down here, uh, it turned its head turns its head and it has a very long sharp pointy beak now as we know owls don't have long sharp pointy beaks so i got closer and closer and we took more pictures of it and we started looking on the internet for what kind of bird it could possibly be and it is a green heron 
and uh, he has not been moved. He has not moved. <laughs> and he almost looks like an emu. He's right up there. You might not be able to see him. You might be able to see him on this camera. Let's get a bit closer, see if we can get a different angle. He, when I move around down here, he like looks around. At first we thought it was an owl sleeping because the way he moved or not moved. Lots of trees. Well, if I fall, it'd be epic. Oh, there he is. Just a second, just let me get over here. Hello. The trees, Muskoka, <laughs> there he is. So I'll try and do a little bit of a digital zoom in for you. But that right there is a green heron. He doesn't know he's a green heron, but he's a green heron. And uh, one more time. He does have this very interesting, he's like tipping his head left and right, wondering why am I standing here looking at him? He hasn't moved. We're hoping he's not injured. He doesn't look like he's injured. If he was injured, I don't think he'd be up there. Let's see if we can get back to these trees. Ah! Is he still there? Did I scare him? He is still there. But for a heron just to sit there for the last two hours is pretty weird. Very strange. First time that any of us have ever seen a green heron. Look it up on Google. Just type in green heron. It might be an adolescent because it doesn't have the same colors of the green herons that we've seen. There's many different variations of the green heron. Uh, there's Carol's kayak. Uh, these people over here are extending their cottage. And so they had tree people in cut down trees. So as you can see, my mom arranged to have them cut down a few of our own trees. They cut down a tree that used to be right behind the car, put all the wood there. There's the stump. That's as close as they cut it. I think there was a tree over here by this shed. Yep, there she is. Because as you can see, it was rotting in the center. That's not good. So that was rotting through the center. My mom didn't like how it was leaning or whatever. But isn't it? It is now down. Oh, there was another tree that was over here somewhere. They cut down that tree. I don't see where that one was. Oh, I think it was over here. They cut her down. Uh, it's good to cut down trees that you think are dying. Then they can uh, make sure they don't fall on your house. And you gotta call the insurance company and anyway. Just thought I'd show you the new bird. The bird that we've never seen ever in the 49 years that I've been coming to this cottage. We never saw that kind of bird before. So it was a big deal. Hope you appreciated watching it. It's time for dinner. And a beer. Shh. It's bonfire time, but we're gonna call this Ben fire time. So Ben's gonna start a fire at the cottage. Is that bird's no the bird flew away. I'm not sure why he flew away, but I'm glad he flew away because of that main he wasn't in trouble, sore or something. Injured is the word. This is the fire they've got going so far. Nice! I can feel the warmth. The warmth. Good morning, people. It is Sunday, October 11th. And uh, yeah, last night we just uh, talked most of the night and then we started watching 
Terminator Genesis and I fell asleep. I've already seen it, so I had a couple beers and that was it. Woke up at 4.30 in the morning and went to bed. <laughs> anyway, let's do happy birthday shout outs. There are uh, three peoples with the three peoples uh, that have a birthday today. It is Jules, Troy, and Brendan. Happy birthday, you three. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below as to what you had for your special birthday dinner, whether you ate in or ate out. Happy birthday. <laughs>